Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice Olympiad problem? A plus 2B equals to 13 and uh, 2A minus B square equals to 5. From here, let's label this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. And uh, from equation 1, let's make A the subject. So from 1, from equation 1, Let's make A the subject of the formula. We have A plus 2B equals to 13. Then, making A the subject, we take 2B to this side and we have A equals to 13 minus 2B. And let's call this as equation 3. Now, substitute equation 3 in equation 2. So, solve equation 3 now in uh, 2, that is. We replace equation 3 in equation 2. Then equation 2 will become 2a. That's 2 times 13 now. So equation 2 becomes 2 into bracket 13 minus 2b minus b squared equals to 5. And from here, we expand this bracket. And to multiply this bracket, we have 26 minus 4b minus b square equals to 5. Please subscribe to my channel and turn the notification bell on. Thank you. And from here, we can take everything to one side in order to form an equation. Take minus b square here, we have b square. Then take minus 4b here, we have plus 4b. So we already have plus 5. Then take 26 here, we have minus 26, which is equal to 0. Then, this can be written as b square plus 4b minus 21, which is equal to 0. This forms a quadratic equation that we can factorize, and uh, it becomes b square plus 7b minus 3b minus 21 equals to 0. When we sum this together, we have plus 4b, and when we multiply, it will give us minus 21. So when we group this one here, we have b into bracket. What is left here is b plus, we have 7 here. And here we have minus 3 common. We have b plus 7 as well, left here, equals to 0. And uh, we have b plus 7 common. So b plus 7 into bracket. What is left here is b, then minus 3 here, equals to 0. So we have two possible cases here. We have first one is b plus 7 equals to 0. And we have the second case, b minus 3 equals to 0. Here, b will be equals to minus 7. And from here, b is equals to 3. Now, to get the value of a, we use the equation 3, which says a equals to 13 minus 2b. So when we bring that down as a now, is equals to 13 minus 2b. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button in order not to mix out on our next video. Thank you. Now, from here, b is minus 7. So, a will now be equals to 13 minus 2 times minus 7. And from here, we have a to be equals to 13 plus 14 because we have Minus times minus that's plus. So a will now be equals to 27 for this side. And on this side as well, you see the same formula. So a will now be equals to 13 minus 2b. And b is 3. So a is now equals to 13 minus 6. And in this case, a equals to 7. So therefore, we can conclude that the set of possible solutions we have, which is a comma b. The first one we have, that is equals to A is 27 here, and then B is minus 7. So, 27 comma minus 7, and also the next set of solution, A comma B, this will give us A to be 7, and B to be 3. So, we can check from the problem to confirm whether we have a solution. Whether we have a solution, we can use any of the equation. So, using equation 1 from here, Using equation 1 from here to test, let's test with A 
command B to be equals to 27 comma A comma B this before set we have 27 comma minus 7 when we put 27 for A and minus 7 for B so we have equation 1 will become 27 that's A then plus 2 times minus 7 then is this equals to 13 then what we see from here this will be 27 this will become 27 minus 14 is this equals to 13 and when we subtract we discover this side is 13 which is equals to 13 so that confirms this solution to be correct the same thing goes for the second solution which is 7 comma 3 if we test this as well we discover that it satisfies the solution thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn the notification bell on if you have any comment put it in the comment section and also give a thumbs up and share this video thank you see you in the next class and bye for now